Once you've created both the can and the ring pool, we're now ready to assemble them. Go to New, Metric, and this time Standard Millimeter IAM. You need to make sure both your can and your ring pool are saved in the same folder. Go to Place and open up the can. As you can see, the ring pool is also in this folder. Open up the can. And now open up the ring pool. We're now ready to constrain both of these parts together. We are now ready to constrain the two components together. To do this, select Constrain, select the flat surface of the ring pool and make constrain it to the top surface of the flat area of the can and apply. The next step is to make constraint the central axis of the hole with the central axis of the mushroom. If you cannot see the mushroom, click on cancel and move until you can see the cylinder at the bottom. Go back into constraint, select the central hole and you'll see the axis comes up in the middle of this cylinder. Constrain that to the cylinder here and apply. As you can see, the ring pull is in the position at the top, but it swings from side to side. To stop the ring pull from swinging from side to side, we have to use work planes. Open up the can by double clicking on it and go to origin and put on the X and Y plane. And right click and finish edit. Double click the ring pull and do exactly the same thing. Go to Origin and ensure the X and Y plane is visible on the ring pool as well. Right click and finish sketch. We're now going to constrain the two work planes together. Select Constrain, zoom in and select the X and Y work plane of the ring pool. Then select the work plane of the can and this time change it from a make constraint to a flush constraint and apply. Once we come out of that, we then see that the ring pull is completely constrained and doesn't swing about anymore. We can then go back in and turn off the visibility of the two work planes. We are now ready to create our label and decal it and change the material of the can.